So today I'm doing an update video to my popular dividend data import into Google Sheets video. So that video showcases a formula which no longer works. It was running off the um, YCharts.com website and using their dividend data, but they have kind of changed somehow the coding of their website where I can no longer scrape dividend data. And because of that, it's kind of been kind of been on hold to get an update until I found a better way to do that. And this is that better way. So this will work almost as good as the uh, other way I did it. The only caveat, and I guess the negative, is now you have to kind of split if or know if the stock ticker is an ETF versus an actual you know stock of a company. And as long as you know that, you know, it's going to be no different. So there's going to kind of be two different um, formulas based on ETF or stock. So what it's going to do in this um, formula in uh, column B is it's going to go to stockanalysis.com. I have no um, you know, business arrangement with this company who has this website. Uh, I don't you know, get any sort of financial gain from using this website. Um, technically, it would be a negative if they kind of go the same route as Y charts and somehow hide something behind here. But for whatever stock ticker you want or ETF ticker you want to look at, it's the formula is going to go to the dividends tab and then grab whatever the last um, dividend payment is. So for this um, IVV, which is the S&P 500 ETF from BlackRock. Um, you can see a dollar seventy six, and the formula grabs dollar seventy six. So same for a stock. I just picked a three M. Um, it's going to go to the dividends tab and grab the last one. So you have seventy three cents, seventy three cents. Now I'm going to go into the cells now to show you. Um, you won't have to type out, you know, what you see here and follow along. I got these formulas in the uh, description down below. But uh, before I kind of describe what these formulas kind of what you need to edit, please be sure to like um, this video, subscribe to my channel if you've not already, and just comment below what um, stocks you're going to be using uh, these formulas for. So for these top three right here, um, the IV IVV, SPY, and SGOV, these are all ETFs. I just picked a few. Um, you can see the... Um, the URL is slightly different. You see how it says ETF right there, and right here it says stock. So that's mainly the only thing you need to adjust other than um, what cell, or if you want to just kind of hard write in what ETF ticker or stock ticker you want to look up right here. So you see I have it grabbing A2, which is IVV, and then it goes and grabs that. So if it says ETF, A A2 goes over. So for um, 3M and Procter & Gamble down here, Clicking in that cell, it goes to A5, A6, respectively, and the URL up here is coded to the stocks page because you can see on 3M right here, um, it is a stock page um, on the stockanalysis.com website. But that is kind of how simple it is now to grab dividends. This will work as long, you know, as the stockanalysis.com website allows kind of a screen scrape type deal of going to the table. And grabbing that data. If there is no data, it will present the words no data in uh, the dividend um, spot. So mostly you'll see that for companies that you know have never posted a, 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 any sort of dividend. So instead of showing zeros, it'll show no data. So you can know that. Um, there could be other cases. Now the only caveat to this is if you have a company that never pays dividends, but they had like one special dividend I don't know, three or four years ago, it will present that dividend. So you have to kind of know that, that it's not a company that spits out dividends every month or uh, every three months. So you will have to, you know, account for that. For example, um, you know, some companies, you, you know, spit out a kind of a special one-time dividend, you know, to kind of garner some you know, stock buying or anything like that. Um, but like I said, this is not financial advice. This is more Google Sheets advice um, to showcase just how you can pull in dividend data. I'm not going to tell you which of these uh, tickers I own or don't own. You know, I, you know, I kind of picked some that I do and don't just kind of be you know fair and you know not get in trouble in any sort of regulatory capacity. But if you have any questions below on how to make this work for you, um, it's pretty straightforward. You can just copy these 
uh, URLs, which I'll put in the description, and you can easily um, just paste them in the cell and then just edit those two fields, right? So if you're just doing all stocks, just grab the stock one and then, you know, either hard code or tell which cell you want your ticker to be in and it'll present that dividend data for you. But like I said, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already, like this video and just comment below what stock tickers you're gonna be uh, using this dividend data for. Thanks for watching.